Hey guys, welcome to the Photoshop training channel. I have a really cool technique for you guys today that will make your workflow a lot easier and a lot faster inside of Photoshop. And that's by creating your own custom panels. Here inside of Photoshop, you have panels that have different tools and different settings. And you can actually create your own. So you can have a panel with just the right tools you need. You can accomplish this by downloading Adobe Configurator 3.1 from the Adobe Labs website. Let me show you how that works. First, go to the Adobe Configurator 3.1 page on the Adobe Labs website and I'll have the link for you on my page photoshoptrainingchannel.com just look below the video and you have the link then click on download configurator 3.1 scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the download for the Mac or for Windows whatever you have after you download it install it and run the program and the program looks like this the next step is to create a panel click on create a panel here on the bottom left and you have to name your panel. I'm just going to name this panel PTC for Photoshop training channel. And then I'm going to press OK. Oh, and by the way, make sure that the select product you're in Photoshop CS6 or CS5 or 5.1, whatever version you have. So I have version CS6 and that's what I'll choose. Then I'll press OK. And you can select the width and height of your panel. So I'm just going to select something about that tall right there there's a little watermark that reads created and configurator I'm just gonna click on that and hit delete because we don't really want to see that after that on the left side here you have different tools commands actions widgets and containers I'm gonna click on the tools arrow and just start selecting the tools that I use the most and by the way you can see the little guides that help you place your tool so I use the move tool a lot um, the rectangular marquee tool a lot some of these selection tools I use a lot, so I'll put those in there. I do a lot of cropping. I'm just going to select some of these, and you know what? I'll just quickly select some of the ones that I, I use the most. Um, I'll try not to take too much time here. Anyway, once I selected this roll of tools, I can also select commands. And let me show you what they look like. I can select commands, for example, maybe say for the web if you're doing a lot of web work. You can also select the close command so you can close a file that you're working with. Maybe you want to have the step backward buttons. You can keep doing undos. Uh, maybe you like to use the copy merge button. Anyway, I'll leave those for now. You can select the ones that you like and feel free to go through the list and see the ones that you uh, tend to use the most. And also, like I said before, there's some actions, there's widgets, there's, there's all kinds of things. But anyway, I'll let you play around with that. For now, I'll just keep this panel here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And actually, it's a little too small, maybe just a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like that. And it's a little wide, so I'll kind of fix it. Okay, so now that you have your panel and your tools, the next step is to export it into Photoshop. So then you go into File export panel and you have to find your Photoshop CS6 plugins panel folder and that is located under your Adobe folder Adobe Photoshop CS6 in my case 64-bit plugins and panels and then click OK and then you'll get this window saying that the panel was successfully exported to Photoshop I'm gonna press OK the next thing is I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to close it and I'm going to restart it. So I'm just going to exit the program and I'm going to start it back up. When you come back into Photoshop, you go into Window, Extensions, and select the panel that you created, in my case, PTC. And we have it down here. So you'll see that we have the tools that we selected and some of the buttons here to do different things and you can resize this panel you can move it around and you can do pretty much whatever you like with this panel and that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and that you will apply this technique into your workflow to make your life just a little bit easier and don't forget to head over to my website photoshoptrainingchannel.com if you're not already there and sign up for my newsletter so you can get an email notification every time I put up a new tutorial and you will also receive subscriber only tutorials. Also, if you have a YouTube account, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.